we are going to start by roasting our vegetables here. I did use my big comal, my griddle. You don't have to use one this big. Just use what you have. You can even use a skillet. I'm going to drop the green tomatoes. And we're going to sit here and watch them because we're not going to roast them until they're really, really soft. This is a very ripe Roma tomato here, so we have to keep an eye on it. And then I have my chile serranos, my green chiles, and quarter of an onion, and two garlic cloves. And then the last thing that we're going to add are the red chiles de árbol. The reason I put them last is because we just need to toast those and they will burn and be very bitter if you if you let them get too dark. We're just gonna wait till the very end. We're gonna let this roast and just keep turning the vegetables over. Just make sure you get a nice little char on them, not, not burned, and watch, keep an eye on the garlic also. The garlic doesn't need too much. I'm gonna show you in the meantime the red chilies that I'm using. I will have it linked below. This is what you're looking for, chile arbol. But I will link what I can find for you below in the description box. I'm going to give you a close-up as to what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And these are very spicy. Okay guys, these garlics, as you can see there, those are ready. We don't want them any more than that. So I'm just going to take these out and put them on a plate and just keep rotating the other vegetables, okay? I just wanted to show you exactly how I start to turn them so that you're familiar with it. Okay, I'll be back. Guys, I'm back to remove the chile serranos. As you can see, they're nice and roasted, just like that. I don't want them overly charred. And the onion is ready. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up so you can see this onion. It smells delicious. Now the tomatoes, we're just going to keep turning them because these are not ready. Okay, our red tomato is ready. Nice and juicy and that's what you want. Don't lose the juice. The green tomatoes are, you know, a bit more firm. So I'm going to leave them for a little bit more. But I'm going to throw in the, uh, the red chiles. Just for a moment. So spread them out. Let's get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. And you just want to toast them just a little bit. See, they're already getting toasty, so I'm going to take them off. They soften up really quick. Okay, those are ready. See how quickly that toast it up. So I'll move these here and I'll leave them for a few more minutes. Okay, this is ready. We're going to transfer everything over and I'm going to switch all over to the counter and we'll start to blend these vegetables. Alrighty, we're back at the counter. I'm just going to blend this in my blender. If you lose any liquid, you definitely want to use that. That's all the good liquid from the tomatoes. And the only thing that we're going to add to this is our salt. I use kosher salt. And we're going to add a few leaves of cilantro. Not too many because we're going to top this off with some cilantro leaves at the end. So on this blender, I have what they call a food chop or salsa button on it. And what it does, the only thing different is that it does, is it pulses the, the liquid or food that you have in there. It doesn't continuously keep chopping it. So I actually like that feature very much. So I use that quite a bit if I'm not using my molcajete and doing it by hand. So we're just going to turn it on and hit that button, the salsa food chop. I think that's going to do it. Let me see if you can see this. Look at that. Ooh. And we can smell that heat. I'll tell you that right now. So if you like very hot, hot sauce, this is the one for you. Okay, let's get it poured into something. Hey, and now I'm just going to pour it into my morcajete here. And that's what I like to present it at the table. 
Look at that. And if you like it less chunky, just blend it a little bit more. That's totally up to you. But for me and my family, this is how we like it. Look at that. Ooh -wee. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Wow, look at this. And it smells delicious, guys. I hope you can see that. I'm going to try to bring you in for a close-up. Look at that. Yummy. Okay, now after, before ending this video, I want to show you a little trick. I'm sure a lot of you know it already, but in case you don't, I'm going to show you how I clean my blender real quick and in a hurry. Alrighty guys, this is what I do to my blender. All I do is put some soap in it. Okay, I got my automatic soap dispenser finally, and I love it. And I'm going to fill up the jug with water, almost to the top. It's to about right there. I'm going to cover it, put it back on the mixer here on the blender, turn it on hot. And that's it. Look at all those suds. All you do is pour it out and rinse it and it's ready to go for the next time. So I just wanted to share that little trick with you. Alrighty guys, and the final presentation, I just take a little bit of cilantro leaves and just sprinkle it on top, just not too many, just a couple. And then some of these uh, green onions, just a couple in case somebody doesn't like them. And that's it, it's ready to go. Alrighty everybody, that's gonna conclude the video. And that is my version of a salsa with tomatillo and chile de arbol sauce. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have the recipe down in the description bar below. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget that big thumbs up means a lot. It helps me a lot here on the channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.